Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be continuing on our MetQ basic series. Uh, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to be dimensioning and annotating today. Uh, we'll click on model space. We've got our drawings here. Uh, for the top drawing, I'm going to be dimensioning uh, at a different dim scale than the bottom drawing. Um, it's because one drawing is zoomed out more than the other. I'm going to leave a video at the very bottom here. Uh, if you don't understand dim scale, we'll get into that uh, in another video. So for this top drawing, I'm going to be uh, using a dim scale of uh, 4. So let's go ahead and change that dim scale. And when I get down here, I'm going to change it to a 5. It's because our drawing, if you look at our drawing, one is zoomed in more than the other. So this is an approximation. Well, this is uh, 3 inches equals a foot. Uh, which I will set now. So you can see it there, three inches equals a foot. This one is just some arbitrary custom scale. Let's go back into model space and we'll check a few settings here. Type in DDIM and go to modify. Uh, our primary units are set to fractional, which is good. Um, we can set these to um, engineering which is uh, decimal which is more for uh, metric um, so let's just dimension from the flange to the uh, end of flange here before we do so let's just check a couple things our e snap settings are endpoint quadrant and center which are good for dimensioning Type in the DLI command. We'll snap to the quadrant here to the endpoint of that flange here. Then locate our dimension. And we can do the same for the uh, well to let DLI the quadrant. Just fix this. Pull that over to this point here. So eleven and three quarters. Uh, you can just grab those grips and stretch them over if you notice that you've snapped incorrectly, like I did there. Uh, now for this drawing, I'm going to change the dim scale to five because it's a little bit more zoomed out. And that way our bubbles and our dimensions will sort of equalize themselves on that uh, paper space sheet there. Um, let's go to Southwest Isometric. And I'm going to be showing you how to use the 3D piping tools here. 3D dimensioning. Now, the first thing we need to do is establish the axis of this pipe here, straight up and down. Um, to do so, I'm gonna turn on my ortho mode here, make sure that's turned on. And then my first point is gonna be in the center of pipe here, going straight down. So that establishes the, the axis. And then the first point I'm gonna dimension is the center here down to the quadrant of the bottom of that flange there. And we need to flip this, so we can just type the F command in to flip that around. And we can do the same thing to this uh, flange over here. Um, so let's... Uh, first point, and then center to the bottom of that flange. And we're done with that. Let's have a look at this in the uh, paper space. Uh, we do have a dimension here we need to move to that 2D layer. We established in the video number two. That will uh, remove it from that uh, viewport.
Let's go ahead and uh, start our bill of materials. We'll choose bill of materials here in the main piping dialog. Create the bomb. Uh, it's asking me to select entities, and that's because I have pick entities uh, activated in that dialog. I'll sh go back to that here after I'm I'm done. So I'm picking just that last set of entities there, and now it's asking me for the orientation plane. I'm going to be typing in Z for as I'm in 3D. Uh, you can see that it's labeling, wanting to label this pipe here. I'm going to turn off the ortho view. Uh, important to do this, otherwise your arrows and um, uh, bubbles, uh, they don't work in this with this toggled on in 3D. So make sure it's toggled off. You can activate um, polar tracking, which I can turn on now. So let me just um, put the first point of the leader in, which will be where the arrow is. And then the bubble will be here. And then we'll press enter. And again, it's going to the second pipe now. First point, second point, and then this is the elbow. This is the flange. And now it's wanting me to insert the table, so I'll just put the table in down here. So we could move these some of these bubbles a little bit closer if we want. Just by typing the M command and kind of moving them in. Do the same to this one. So now we need to insert this table into paper space. And the way I'll do that, I'm going to select it by crossing, and I'm going to come up here, edit, and cut, and toggle into my paper space, and then go edit, and then paste. It's going to come in really big. We won't worry about that now. Um, let's work on the title block just real quick before we deal with that table so if we wanted to put a title block in we just use the rectangle command and just make a little place over here for our title block and maybe you could come down and do um, I don't know you could turn on the midpoint and uh, perpendicular. Okay. We could divide this title block up if we wanted to and then we could put in uh, another line here and then you could have your revisions vision area here and then maybe the logo here. I'm going to go ahead and insert that logo. Insert image. I got this already going here on my desktop. And then I just put that in right here. Something like that. But you get the idea with that. Um, so now we can uh, zoom up and reduce this table down by a quarter. Let's just try that. So we select it by crossing, type in scale. Um, and we'll try a quarter. Just too big still. Let's try reducing it down by half.
And now let's move this into the drawing. I think we'll just put it right here for now. And move this down. Do that, and um, as you can see, our our model is kind of piercing through that, which means we need to scale this down just just by you know, a fraction. Type in model space. We can try a um, half inch equals a foot, which works good. Move this to the. Um, 2D layer. Type in PS for paper space and you can see our dimensions are a little big up here um, so if we wanted to adjust those down to match these a little bit better we could just reduce the dim scale so if we do in the, go into model space click on that viewport type in dim scale and set this, let's say, to three. And then we type in dim update. And then we select these. And then press enter. It can scale down just slightly. If we wanted to finish off the bottom of the table, we could just put a line in. We could if we wanted to just move this over away from the edge uh, which might be a good idea. Um, because there's going to be a margin over here. Um, we're really close here on our, uh, our on our paper size. Remember when I was in the bill of materials um, this here I was I was picking the entities versus choosing all the entities or all the piping fittings so I was doing this just to kind of shorten the video up but I wanted to make you aware that if you click on this the global option it will actually prompt you to label or um, balloon label all those fittings so this option actually allows you to do multiple spools in uh, one drawing so, and therefore, you could have multiple schedules if you wanted to, along with those um, spools. And so, um, keep that in mind. So, let's go ahead and uh, just do a plot preview on this. Plot. We got the layout selected here, the letter size. Eight and a half by eleven. So hopefully this has been helpful, and I hope to see you in the next video. Um, I was thinking next video that we would maybe do some, just some plain two D pipe drawings um, uh, using some of these uh, same techniques. So we'll see you then.